So Hodgkin lymphoma is one of the most curable hematological malignancies nowadays. Uh, the standard of care has been for uh, many, many years uh, conventional chemotherapy and in some occasions with the association of radiotherapy. If we look at the small proportion of patients that are primary refractory or that relapse after achieving a complete remission, salvage chemotherapy and then consolidation with an autologous stem cell transplantation has also been the standard of care for many years. Uh, this treatment landscape um, has already changed over the last few years and probably is going to change even more in the um, next few years. So if we go back to the primary um, or to the um, first line treatment setting, um, we are seeing the inclusion of new drugs uh, together with chemotherapy. When we talk about new drugs, um, we are basically referring to brintuximab edotin, which is an um, anti-CD30 monoclonal antibody, which is associated to a drug, monomethyloristatiny. And then the other group of new drugs are checkpoint inhibitors, so nivolumab and pembrolizumab. Um, so both of them have already been included in the first line setting in combination with chemotherapy and we have quite a lot of information indicating that the results of this combination um, are better than the results that we have with, with chemotherapy alone. Um, also in the relapse refractory setting we are seeing the introduction of these new drugs either alone or in combination with chemotherapy. We have even tested the possibility to give the these patients chemo-free treatment strategies, for instance, with a combination of nivolumab and brentuximab edotin before autologous stem cell transplant. And we are even working in some prospective clinical trials that would eventually try to avoid autologous stem cell transplantation in a population of patients that it's being considered good risk. So probably in the near future, um, we will try to reduce more and more uh, the use of chemotherapy for these patients and maybe maybe we will have subgroups of patients or specific situations uh, where patients are going to be treated only with new drugs alone and no chemotherapy.